Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Right, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, uh, there are a lot of cruisers available out there, and I get that, and I don't blame you for looking at a bunch, but the Boulevard hasn't always been known as a super stylish cruiser until a lot of accessories came out to make it really, really nice. Maybe the Boulevard wasn't on your radar because it wasn't beautiful, right? It was still maybe a little Japanese and not hardly enough. Well, in this case here, we've done a lot to make this uh, get to the place like you might buy an Indian custom right now or uh, some of the uh, victories or things like that. Look at the exhaust system on this car, all the LED lighting. You have uh, things like a 9,000 RPM tack and 150 mile an hour speedometer on a cruiser, right? This bike rolls. These great little uh, uh, air cleaner covers here with the Bully 9 on it for uh, the 109 cubic inch uh, V-twin engine, right? Shaft drive, it's silent, don't need to maintain it, you don't have to worry about oil slinging up on you, getting all over your clothes and your boots and whatever. That's all, all back here, if we could walk around here, we're talking about a 260 tire, right? This is like the J-Lo of cruisers. Look at the size of that tire. Does that make my hips look big? No, the tire makes your hips look big, all right? Little things like this, LED lighting, and then we went ahead, and this used to be all of the tag stuff that you'd get there. This has been moved over to here. All of these pieces are billet, right? All these upgrades around here from foot pegs to handlebars to mirrors, there's so detail done on this car. I'm going on this car. Sorry, we've been doing car videos all day. So much detail on this bike is why I wanted to make sure that you saw some of those things. Throw in the fact that it has virtually no mileage on, especially for its year. It's 2019, we're doing this video, and it's a 2011. Uh, it is really, really a spectacular feat. I want to talk a little bit about the paint, because typically on Japanese bikes, you don't get great exotic paint. This has uh, black metallic with max orange through it, and they've done a really nice job on this paint. So I wanted to just take a second and show you that, especially the way it comes over this. Custom lighting, custom front fender, and then it continues to go here. We can just take a peek right here. The speedometer, uh, dressed in skulls there. It's just really nice little touches. And then the stripe comes on down. The comfort seat here, and if you're coming on down here, look at that, just all kind of comes together. It's a really nice, I don't know, I just thought it was great looking paint.